Fla 64 was a very memorable Fla. Yeah, it was very also very important when we discovered that um, the year before there was a Fla in Mullingar that didn't go quite so well and the Ard Corley of Clonus decided if Clonus didn't do so well there would be no more all Irons. But Clonus was a fantastic success and hence the all Irons gone on from strength to strength, as you know. Um, so Clonus was the, the catalyst to get all that going again. So Flag Hill the Heron was saved by Clonus. <laughs> That's what Pat McCabe was telling us. I say some other people might have their own story, but certainly it was a landmark flag on the hair. As I say, I told Wouldn't it be great to bring back the flag yeah. feeling to Clonus again? We can have great sessions on the street again. I must ask Sean, can we get this web working? sessions all around the town. Saturday the 16th is workshops all day with guitar and bazooki lessons from Sean McElwain, accordion with Michael Kern, fiddle with Kevin Glacken, Shano dancing with Colin Butler. At 6pm we have a junior music session and at 10 set Cayley with Strelon Cayley Band. There's also all around town music sessions in lots of different venues. On Sunday the 17th we have a music trail at 2pm. At 5pm the sessions start again all around town. There's nothing virtual about the Clonus Fla 64 traditional music gathering.